Hey guys, it's Nicole at Okay Nick Trick. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some crepes and talking about best friendships and awkward things that happen in best friendships. Is there a bug in here? Alright guys, so to get started, um, let's talk ingredients. So you're going to need some melted butter, three tablespoons of melted butter, um, some vanilla extract, some sea salt, 2% milk, and two eggs, okay, and some all-purpose flour, and sugar. So you're going to get half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, I'm going to crack two eggs into the bowl. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Oh! Oh! Almost dropped the shelf in though. To that mix, you're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Add a dash of vanilla. Half a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, so now that all of your wet ingredients are combined, um, I'm just grabbing about a cup of flour and I'm going to just slowly add it into the wet mix and whisk it together until it's nice and smooth. Now that all of your flour and your wet ingredients are combined, I'm just going to take three tablespoons of melted butter and then slowly add it in while I'm whisking. What? Cindy Lou Who? What? Cindy Lou Who? Who's Cindy Lou Who? Oh, you know, just my boyfriend. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna assemble and then we'll put some Nutella on this crepe because Nutella's mom. Welcome back to this week's episode of Nick Tricks Nosh. Um, this time around, I made some berries and Nutella crepe, and we're going to be talking about a really weird situation between best friends. Let's get to eating. I've been craving crepes for like a long time, for like weeks now, I think, and I just never got around to getting any. So I was like, hey, why not make some for this video? And I made like three massive ones to be excessive, but you guys know me, I'm not going to finish it, so... follower of mine from Instagram uh, posed a question about a situation that she's in and I thought it was a really interesting one. So she says, she, me, this person says, my best friend really likes this guy but the only problem is that he's one of my best friends. He's one of those guys I basically consider my brother. I don't know how to feel about it. She talks about him a lot and I can't help but feel slightly awkward when she says he's sexy. I would never put someone off limits for her to date just because I don't feel comfortable with it, but I don't know how to make myself be comfortable. If you've seen my previous episode of Nick Tricks Nosh, where I was talking about friendships, you guys know that I'm, I value honesty over everything else, and my advice would just to be honest with your best friend. Because if this is your best friend, then you guys should be able to tell each other anything. And I think you should tell her that it makes you feel uncomfortable. Not that you wouldn't support um, her affection for your other best friend, but I feel like she should know that it is weird because you're close to the guy. So she should be more sensitive towards that. And maybe, you know, you guys can talk about how dope his personality is or whatever, but I guess she doesn't really have to be like, oh my god, he's so hot in front of you all the time. Because if it makes you feel uncomfortable and she's a good friend and she's considerate, then she should also understand that. But yeah, just be honest with her. If you guys are best friends, there's nothing that you can't say to each other. Um, in terms of 
how to make yourself feel comfortable if maybe you don't want to tell her that the way she's talking about him makes you feel uncomfortable. I don't know. I would say I'm one of those people who are like all about faking it till you make it. So I would just joke around about it until it feels less awkward for you. Like if you make it so awkward beyond normal means of being awkward, then at that point you'll just have to you'll get used to it. So joke around with her, be like, oh yeah, he's so hot, and just keep saying that. And then, you know, you keep hearing it, and maybe it'll just feel less weird to you. Um, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with feeling weird about, like, your best friend, your bro, being liked by one of your friends. Because I've definitely had that feeling before, but for me, I was just really honest about it. I was like, man, that's really weird. Like, I'm not going to lie. I told my friend, like, oh, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty awkward. But, alright, if he likes you back, that's cool, you guys should date, because you guys are both best friends, the other guy's your best friend, then you'd want them to be happy. So I would just let them be. sugar and just pacing. I'm trying to think of like what else I can tell you and help you out about your situation. Yeah, honestly, just honesty is the best. Just talk to her. Tell her that makes you feel weird when you're talking about how sexy he is. I'm pretty sure she has other friends that she can fawn over him about. <laughs> it doesn't have to be you. Or she can just scale it back, tone it down if she knows that it's bothering you. Otherwise, she'd just be slightly inconsiderate. First crepe done. Oh yeah. The cameraman's shaking his head at me. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up? Uh, Starting on crepe number two. He just doesn't want me to finish them because then there won't be any extras for him to eat. Sucks to suck. Oh, too bad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> I need water. <laughs> too bad. So sad. Was this not funny? That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I feel like too bad. So sad. It's almost worse than sucks to suck. It really does. Because so sucks funny. to suck is like. Just making an obvious statement even know. more obvious. It's like, oh man, your situation sucks, so it sucks to suck. But too bad so sad is <laughs> like... Too bad so sad is like super snarky. <laughs> <laughs> like, too bad's not good enough. You'd be like, so sad. <laughs> oh, my cat died. Too bad so sad. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like crepes? And if you do, what do you like in your crepe? Sometimes when I go out, I'll get like banana and Nutella, but I really like berries in my crepes usually too. I'm so full. I think that's as good as it gets for today, guys. You guys know I always make and buy way too much food and I don't finish it. But that means I'll get crepes for breakfast, so 
who's winning now. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Nick Tricks Nosh. Feel free to tweet me with the hashtag Nick Tricks Nosh um, and ask me questions there. And I'll be selecting questions uh, every now and then to answer in these videos. If you like videos like this, please hit thumbs up and subscribe for me, please. Share with your friends. Alright, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>